Hey Scribblers, welcome to Scribble Lab. What you're seeing here is a common kingfisher or a halcyon, which are near and dear to my heart. So I'm really excited to share this super simple drawing tutorial with you today. Take a look at how easy this is going to be. This guy's body is basically a rounded rectangle. And so is his head. He's got a triangle beak, round eye, and down at the bottom we have this rounded off triangle here. His feet are just a simple set of ovals. And that's it. Guys, this is so easy. So I'm going to put him up in the corner here as a reference, but he's going to stay out of our way. So let's get started. I'm going to use my iPad to do this video, but if you don't have an iPad, it's not a big deal. Just use paper and pencil at home. Draw very lightly so that you can erase because all of your pencil work is going to get erased. You're also going to need a marker or some kind of ink to get your final lines in. Okay, let's get our sketch lines in just to give us a guideline of where our final lines are going to go. Let's start with a rounded rectangle for his body. Now, is that a perfect rectangle? No, not at all, but we're just sketching. Doesn't really matter, just get those lines in. I'm gonna do a rounded rectangle up here. Just about like that. It's gonna overlap a little bit. Now his triangle nose. Just like that. We're gonna throw his eye in here. We've gotta get his wing in and it's going to start in this, where this little X is and come down to about there. We're gonna throw in a branch. Somewhere around there. He's going to need some feet to go halfway over the branch here. Just little ovals. And then we need his tail in. Right about there. How's it looking? That looks pretty crazy right now, doesn't it? Don't worry, these are just our sketch lines, remember. I think I want to change the shape of his head just a little bit. So I'm going to get my eraser and just erase the top here and try that again. More like that shape. You can do whatever shape you want. The key to getting a good kingfisher is the colors. You gotta make sure you get those beautiful oranges and blues in. Okay, let's get some lines in there so that we will know where to place the colors on the head. Now we're gonna start on this left side of its head and we're going to do a small arch that crosses the very top of the eye and down to the beak. I'm going to erase this line right here, just so it doesn't confuse me. Okay, now I'm going to draw another arch that's similar to the one we just drew, just a little bit lower. It's going to touch the bottom of his eye and it's gonna curve down a little below the beak. And then we have one more line that's going to curve from about the center of the head to there. Now we've got all of our basic shapes in there. Now you just need to take your eraser and erase all of your lines until they are just very, very, very light on your paper. You want to still be able to see them, but you don't want the person across the room to be able to see what you've just drawn. It's really easy on an iPad because I can just turn the opacity down like this. And then it's out of your way. Okay, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that, but I'm going to move on. All right, now we're going to do our final lines. So get your marker out or your pen, whatever you have. Okay, I've got my marker ready and I'm going to start at the top of his beak and round out the top of his head here, all the way to this point. I'm going to get his beak in there. And round it out back to the top, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna get his little chin. And curve back to his wing. And down his back to his foot. Okay, let's pull his wing in. Just about like that. I want to get that chest line in. 
right about there. Okay, let's get the ovals for his feet. I always start with the center one because it helps me balance out the side too. I just kind of connect them like that. I do the complete oval in the center and then just latch on the side too like this. I'm going to start with the branch. Just kind of a squiggly line here until it meets up with the bottom of his body here. And then I stop at his feet, pick up my pencil, then continue in the center. Pick up my pencil again and then continue the rest of the way. I just draw all the way off the page there. Okay, back to the left. I'm going to make kind of a fork in this branch just to make it look like a tree branch. I'm just going to go all the way under his feet and back off to the side of the page. Okay, so let's see. He needs an eye, doesn't he? I just draw a simple circle. It's kind of an egg shape, isn't it? You can do whatever shape you want. And then I like to put two little highlights in his eye, which are just two circles, and then everything else gets filled in. Oh, he's cute. Now it's time to outline where he has color changes on his face. These arches that go across the top of his eye like that and the arch that goes across the bottom of his eye, like that. And then the curve that goes from the center of his neck to the front of his chin there. And we've got one more little arch here. It's a sideways rainbow right about there, and that separates the white from the orange on his face. Now all we're missing is his tail. And it's kind of like a U underneath that branch there. And if you want to put tail feathers in, that looks cute. And there you have it. You have drawn a really handsome kingfisher. I'm going to color this guy. You can color him however you'd like to, or you can follow along with me if you'd like to see how I do it. I like to start with a little zigzag line just above his feet here. It gives an impression of feathers. And then I fill in all of this top area with the orange as well as the area right around his eyes. And then I take just a little bit darker color for underneath the zigzag here. And it makes it look like kind of a shadow. I want to go a little bit darker than that. There we go. All right, find a very nice blue color, kind of a turquoise blue. I think I might go a little lighter. Yeah, kind of like that. Now on the iPad, if you don't have all of your lines closed, it won't fill in properly. So sometimes I have to go in and add a little extra line there. It just takes a minute. Okay, so I'm going to add the blue in here and in here, right on his cheek. And then I like to take a lighter blue and highlight the top of his head like that. I'm going to grab this orange color again and give him a little bit of red tinge for his feet. I'm going to fill in all of the points of his feet. And then I'm going to select the blue again, make it a little bit darker, and fill in his tail because that's kind of shadowed. I'm going to fill in his eye highlights with bright white as well as his chin and the side of his or the back of his cheek I guess. Now for his beak I like to start off with black on the bottom. I separate it into three parts and I put black on the bottom half and then I lighten it up a little bit and draw another line here. And I fill that in with a little bit lighter. And on the top, it's the lightest gray of all right there. 
it just gives him a little shape. Now he needs the branch to be colored. I have kind of this grayish brown color here. If you want to, you can take a little lighter brown color, add some highlights. Whatever look you like is just fine. Now I like to take a bright white and I like to turn down my opacity and I like to add highlights to him. Now, if you're not on the iPad, you can do the same thing by using a white colored pencil on top of your drawing. And you can add little highlights to his eyes. You could even add little feathers to his chest or to his wings or to the top of his beak, whatever you like. I'm going to put some knuckles on him. Something like that. And there you have him. Wasn't that easy? I hope you enjoyed drawing this Kingfisher halcyon bird. They are such beautiful birds, and I'm sure you did a fantastic job. Thanks for swinging by. See you next time.